Hi, I'm Becky Wandell from PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, and today we're going to be talking all about voting in person on Election Day in 2020. Voting in person on Election Day is how most Americans usually cast their ballots, and even with COVID-19, how millions are going to be voting this year. But a lot has changed, and it's important to know why. One of the most major changes is where you'll go to vote, called a polling place. In 2016, there were over 100,000 of these locations, staffed by about 1 million poll workers, more than half of whom were over the age of 61. With COVID-19 posing a greater risk to older people, the U.S. is dealing with a significant shortage of poll workers, which may mean fewer polling places. That's why some have opened up large arenas and convention centers as polling places with the hope that they'll be better able to deal safely with the masses of people who will be voting on election day. Social distancing, mask wearing, and other COVID-19 precautions will also make polling places look and work a lot differently this year, but even that will vary greatly depending on where you live. No matter what, you have the right to cast your ballot safely, so don't be afraid to call your election officials ahead of time to find out what election day voting will look like in your area. 